You're here too. I'm here to play Risen Three. Yeah. Uh, for you, while I while I spit forth all my my phlegm and, and saliva. Yes. Um, that's correct. Yeah, swords so. Rob. He's got long sleeves. And I know you brought me on. It's important to get uh, opinions from uh, more bearded white dudes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what I'm here to do. Yes. We covet your opinion, oh bearded white dude. So this is, of Whoa. course, the follow up what? to. What? Did you just teleport? Oh, Risen yeah. and Risen Two. You're a tricky guy. Ah. Now this takes place in the same, um, the same setting as Risen Two. So you go through basically the same islands that Which you. Which was like a pirate setting. Yeah, right? it is a pirate setting. Yeah. And you are sort of a pirate, but not anymore. So you do consort with pirates, but you don't necessarily have to be a pirate. Mm -hmm. You eventually have to side, however, with uh, one of the game's many factions. Um, like like four basic good guys, factions. bad guys, weird guys. Not really bad guys. They're all. It's it's really one of those things where you're getting you're trying to band everybody together to take on the giant, you know the the giant demons and stuff that are that are overtaking the world. You know, I darkness has come, uh -huh. and you actually your character is heavy. Steelbird's son, Steelbeard I'm being um, from from earlier in the series. So you're actually, if you remember, Patty, um, you're her. Uh, brother. So, oops. It's very easy to sometimes speak to your companion. So you can always take a companion with you this time. So you've um, got bones. You I do have bones, but there are several. Um, maybe in a, in a bit I'll go back to the ship and uh, show you who else I have available. This is maybe about halfway through the game here. Mm -hmm. um, I finished on, on Sunday. You conquered it? I did conquer the game on Sunday. I'm in the process of writing a review now. But uh, it's it's interesting because it's a lot like Risen 2, but the combat um, has definitely been made more fluid. Um, the visuals are definitely much better. But the combat still has a lot of problems, um, one of which is just how exploitable it is. Um, that roll in particular, the dodge move, yeah. is you see this, the, really, your, your little really move? exploitable. Well, you don't start that way. That that happened because I that is a, that that happened because I took a specific I, I sided with a specific faction. Uh -huh. Right. So so I'm a demon hunter here. So but you get to side with the mages, with the pirates, and so on and so forth. So. That teleport. Oh yeah, picking up hunter. gold pieces one by one. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite thing to do. But even before you do that, um, <laughs> you your roll, I know, what individual pieces of gold. Really? Luckily this isn't this doesn't <laughs> happen too much. Usually things are in packs or you steal like oh, that's fun. a bunch of gold. And of course, Here's battles of the last century. The cure. So when oh, you I find stuff like that. this a lot of the time you end up uh, earning a new you know, earning something new, like uh, a new quest to go after, okay. or sometimes you learn about um, about uh, treasure locations that way. Do you just steal a clam from a dead goblin? <laughs> totally. Fair Goblins totally. always have clams. Well, and then what you can do is, <laughs> see, one of the great things about clams is if, if I have any, like I have shells, like you can... You have 46 clams. You can, and now we get to click on them all to see how many might have pearls. So I'm just clicking this on This is all, all you do the with them? Yep. <laughs> But you need those pearls. Like, look, so All right. I actually uh, received, and here, one of the reasons wow. I was out here is to get a, a shimmering, shimmering pearl. pearl. Is that a pile of clams um, that just somebody had? Looks like an eye. So you'd say for every 50 clams, it's one pearl. <laughs> well, no, you can get a bunch of pearls. I needed that specific pearl okay. because she'd sent me after the pearl. So at this stage, though, I am off to close. One of the things that you do in this game is you have to close these portals. Mm hmm um, that demons come through. So that's Listen, one of you your can't main be having tasks. Demons just coming through all so right? me and that. Bones, who is a druid, he's my favorite companion of all of them. Um, I, I, forget, I don't know exactly how many there are. There's like seven or eight companions, something like that. Maybe it's only six, but it's around that. Um, and uh, he's my favorite. The, one of the problems with companions is that a lot of them um, kind of are the same. Like, oops, that was already an open. It's they're kind of they're kind of boring. So well, not I like them as personalities. The problem is that functionally, um, a lot of them don't really do much, but like different there. from the last. Ooh, yeah. jump down there! Uh -oh. Yeah, so go to that skull cave. I'm gonna come down you here. Are fine. dangerous. And one thing that has returned from Risen is the nauseating way it handles its camera when you're leaping or falling. Um, but anyway, if you if you played Risen, then you Whoa. know which I speak. 
Oh, you really are just legit dropping down this whole. You do take fall damage, but it's, it's I'm here. not going down so far. You do. Is gravity reduced in the world of Risen? <laughs> you, you just like. I, I already light. have his Look at that uh, white tree. Those trees are cool. Yeah, well, see, the thing is, you're also you've lost your spirit. So you can also go into this kind of spirit mode to help identify certain things, but it's really useless. Um, it, it's such a superfluous thing that I'm not even sure why it was left in. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so eventually bones will catch up. Sometimes companions have a hard time navigating. <laughs> but, have a hard um, time gently falling down. <laughs> but And so now, to deal with some minions. Just a reminder that if you guys have any questions for Kevin about Risen 3, we're taking a look into twitch.tv slash GameSpot chat, as well as the comments on GameSpot.com. You can pass them along to him and you can find out all about uh, what exactly a Titan Lord is. Kevin, what is a Titan Lord? Well, they're, they're basically uh, are they they're giant, Titan Lords. Are they're, they giant versions of humans that wear no clothes they're, and like you know, humans? They're demigods, <laughs> basically, in this world. Okay. There's bones. I'm just trying to get out of the way because I wanted to sheath, unsheath my weapon. And he's dead. One of the uh, one of those moves. Another nice. another you know nauseating camera movement when you when you get those finishing moves. Now you can block. Um, now Risen 2, when it was originally released, you couldn't dodge or block, um, and it was some of the most frustrating combat ever in the history of combat. You just have to combat. like stand there and take it. Yeah, well, there were there were ways that you could try to deal with it, but uh, I mean, the combat in that sense is much much improved. It's it's much more fluid than it used to be, and it is the same world, but it's it's a lot different now. Um, so, I mean, they've really upped the visuals in a lot of ways, which is good. Um, it's still not. It looks like there's some neat environmental design going on. I like those mm -hmm. fungi on the wall. I mean, it's not visually the most attractive thing ever. I mean, there are definitely much better looking RPGs out there. Um, but they really did clean up a lot of stuff. Some of my favorite things are in the in the character models when you really get in close. Some of them used to be really... So is the teleport, is that class uh, specific or is that something you just picked up later on? Oh, the, well, it's, it, it's not really a teleport. All it is is it's the dodge with a new animation. Oh. So it now has the new animation. You just don't see me dodge anymore. Gotcha. So it... it you just don't see you at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's functionally exactly the same. Nice job. You're going to steal all those ghouls' bones? Yeah. Now you can't always get bones. One of the most interesting things, uh, which is a carryover, is, is how leveling up works. Um, which is that you, you do have, like, your individual things that you can level up, like melee and ranged and spirit and... And magic and so forth, but you to, to to actually earn new skills, you still have to go buy them, and those act as thresholds to the things that you can actually buy. So you buy them with just currency. You buy them with currency. You buy yep. them with bones. You have and to go clams. to a trainer, and uh, and spend gold on those. So. Oh. You're quick, goblin. One interesting thing is, is uh, I mean, the game's a lot easier than Risen and Risen 2 ever were. Um, in, the, in the first two games, it was pretty easy to die from the very beginning, like just to one of those sand devils on the beach. It was like, that, t oops, that tiny thing just murdered me. Um, now, like that kind of stuff isn't bound to happen. I, I don't know if I can mine this or not. Nope, nothing, nothing, not so, uh, nothing so shameful as being killed by a tiny sand thing. Yeah, but now things have gotten a lot easier. The combat is, is a lot more fluid. The downside, of course, is it's really exploitable. Like, you can just exploit that roll to death. If, if you're wondering, like, why I'm not blocking, yeah, that's one of the reasons, because the dodge is so powerful, is so powerful mm. that you you can... I mean, the game is, is, compared to Risen and Risen 2, which were much more difficult, This the combat in this game eventually becomes a cakewalk. Um, so in that sense, it's very different until you get kind of the final boss, which is really frustrating. Here's the lock picking, which is interesting. In the early times of the lock picking, like you can just I watched you pick a lock earlier. So when it's it when was it's, comical. It was comical because some, when you only have four of these things, you just swipe it across and yeah. back, and you're done. <laughs> There's nothing to it. Um, but here, like, see, I can't just do that because that happens because you actually have to do it in an order. 
and you'd have to figure out what that order is by playing a little bit. So okay, that one stays up, that one stays up, that one stays up. So now the question is, do I go to the left or go, do I go to the uh, right? No. If I, oh, so that one's not the right one to go to. Oh, okay. So you do this, and then this, and then you still have to make a decision which one, I'll do that. Oh, not the right one. So one, Good two, tenor. three, four, back to this one, and back to that. And that's All the, right. that's how the lock picking works. But That is way more interesting than what I saw you do earlier. When you have any fewer <laughs> than six, um, <laughs> six of those, then, then it's, 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 it's <laughs> so a mean, it's, it's sort of a meaningless lock picking system. And even then, it's not too difficult. Believe it or not, Two Worlds 2 has my favorite lock picking of all time. Um, and nobody ever, I don't believe it. Nobody ever says anything this about guy. Two Worlds 2. Yeah, here's a Swamp Golem. So there are different kinds of golems, um, or golems, depending on how you like to pronounce it. I don't want to upset people. How's it spelled? Oh, I would say golem for that, for sure. Rob? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> going for golem? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, we're going oh, for golem. You know what? I should do some magic here. Maybe I'll do some magic. Just to say, hey, look, I can do some magic, so... Oh, that oh, didn't that do thing, anything. Yeah. That thing is pretty cool looking. Yeah, I gotta it's got say. some roses on. I like some of the creature designs here. I like the environmental design. Is I mean, is exploration sort of a thing? It's or the you... biggest thing actually. Here, we'll we'll summon some fire from above. Fire from above. Although really, he's just a, he's a cakewalk. You just kind of sword him to death. Now, when it comes to buying certain like buying some of those skills, like you can't always just get skin everything off of these creatures every time. Like, you have to earn the ability to, like, get bones or skulls or hides and things like that. Oh, teeth. To, to salvage, to scavenge them off yeah. of the creatures and what have you? See, this is oh, usually God. what lockpicking is like. Oh, my God. <laughs> so in the early times... Making that achievement progress. Well, What's the, the thing is, I already, I think I already achieve, I think I already have that achievement, maybe. I'm playing offline, so it, it's only going from where the... I, I was afraid that the game would update. I had a, it, it kept crashing on the other PC, which is I was afraid to update it in case the press the the, the press build and the and the retail which came out today. Kevin, is this clashed. a game that is good? Would you recommend this game? I would. Where's, I, where's your review status at? <laughs> I think that you know what you're getting into when you play a Piranha Bytes game. So these are the people that made Gothic, which is still probably the you know maybe Gothic Two is the height of what they've done. Mm -hmm. um, but you sort of know what you're getting into. You know that you're gonna get a, a, a game with lots of adventure and lots of stuff to do in it and lots of cool places to go. And it's gonna be wonky and weird and not everything's gonna make sense and it's gonna be clumsy and, and maybe sometimes a little bit broken. Mm -hmm. And yet it's gonna be kind of special because there are too few games that do this and this game does a lot of what it does really well. It just, it, it, it really is one of those games that's like, God, I wish they could have tightened up all the nuts and bolts. Mm because uh, it has a lot of loose nuts and bolts. Yeah. But it's it's a really satisfying game. But holds itself together and like you get, you can find some great enjoyment from playing it. Oh, totally. And here's, this I don't guy. have all of the the companions here. Um, at this stage of the this game, your, like I said, I was about to This is your Normandy? Through. This is your Normandy. You don't start with this ship. Eventually, you only get a big ship once you align and then all of your companions join you. Um, so this is Horus. All right, well, just talk to Horus. I don't want to yeah, meet all these people you said are the same. That's fine. <laughs> Although well, their, the personalities their personalities are, are all d are all different. It's just in combat. There's only one dude that kind of is works differently. He has a shotgun. He's uh, <laughs> he's one of the people from the Voodoo people um, that you get. So it's like the same kind of uh, the similar races from Risen Two okay. all reappear. But you do have new kinds of magic that you can do. Like there was no offensive magic in Risen Two. Um, now, now you can, you can do all sorts of offensive storms. things. It's crazy. Uh, when is the is the game out? You said the game is out today. Today. Yeah. And review coming. The review should be either tonight or tomorrow morning. All right. Um, so I'm just in the process of writing it. So be on the lookout. But I would say yeah, if you if you know. What Risen is, then you, go into you it with get your eyes more open. of that. All right. Yeah. 